Stacy is here. Hey, Carrie. Thrift for Junker Vent to Junker. Hey, Misty. Can you guys hear me? Oh, wait. Did I? I'm already messing up. One more vintage. We're live. I think we're live. Can you all hear and see me all right? There we are. Okay, awesome. Welcome everyone. Hey guys. Hey Kim. Thanks Misty and Carrie and Diana and Michelle and everyone for hopping on. I appreciate it. Christina's here. Hey guys. My folks are on. So for all of you who don't know, this is my husband, John, and he will be helping out tonight. Okay, cool. Yeah, I know Dee um, is probably just wrapping up, so I figured we'd just take the first couple of minutes, you know, just let everyone hop on and say hello and get caught up. Christina's saying hi. Your chat's going faster than mine. <laughs> Michelle, do you remember the little, like, um, poppy seed embroidery things I bought from you? They're up here. The little, it was like a poppy and some other herb things. Little cross stitches are in my kitchen. Hey, Hemlock Lady, welcome. <laughs> can, can you guys see my email scrolling okay? Oh, you're welcome, Diana. It was fun to have my morning coffee chatting with you. Because the cats had me up at 6 o'clock. They'll probably make a guest appearance on the back counter here at some point once we start putting things up there. Hey, Pam. All right. So we're one minute in, just letting some people roll in. We've got 16 people watching. Thank you, everyone. I'm so excited. So this is my first live. And for those of you who are new to me, um, you've probably just seen me on Misty's channel and Alex's and Michelle's Comfy Cozy Living. You've seen me in the live sales. I'm Christine and I own Side Street Market. I'm a part-time reseller and I have an Etsy shop and vintage booths. I do have this YouTube channel, which y'all are on now. So I'm excited to share some stuff with you guys tonight. Yeah. Awesome. So a lot of you guys I know have uh, done this before. Hey, Stephanie, welcome. Thrifting Adventures is in the house. I'm so excited, guys. I was just watching Dee earlier, preparing, getting ready, you know. But uh, I know a lot of you guys have done these sales before and how it goes is I'm gonna show an item and then I will tell you how much it is and then I will say a number and the first person to type in that number that shows up on John's chat window wins the item. Sometimes you'll see yourself first and that's just the way YouTube is if you hit refresh you'll see who actually won. So it's whoever comes up first on John's chat window. Thank you, Maria. I appreciate that. It's great. I know you all are gonna help out because John has not done this before. He's watched <laughs> like two sales with me to try to figure out what's gonna happen. So, uh, and I do wanna say like with my sales, I'm only gonna be doing one a month. So this is my August sale and my next one will be September 19th. So, uh, um, what else did I need to tell you guys? <laughs> <laughs> what? You discovered she'll always be first. Mm -hmm. I'll always be first. <laughs> I'm learning My kids are making me nutty say, oh, sorry, I'm lock. <laughs> 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 oh, you guys are making me laugh. I'm forgetting what I'm supposed to say. Oh, and I do. So the prices do not include shipping and I do ship from Florida. I am in the northeastern part of Florida, though. I don't know if that makes much of a difference, but East Coast will be cheaper than West Coast, but um, we will do our best with that. And uh, <laughs> I know Michelle's funny. <laughs> and uh, so if you win an item, you're gonna need to send me an email and I have my email scrolling across the screen. My email is sidestreetdesign at gmail.com because that was my design business and then market came about as my vintage part of that and also that email is taken. So side street design, I'll need that. I'll need um, a description or the item number of what you've won, your name, your YouTube name, your PayPal email for billing, and then your address so I can get you a shipping quote. Hemlock, I'm near Daytona Beach. So 
So, all right, well, we've got the party going, so let's get started with start something. In. All right, so how about we start with something tiny? How about an air planter? Because I think you guys like little air planters, right? I did, Maria, thank you. Yes, everything came wonderfully wrapped, and some of them were presents, so I can't talk about them. <laughs> While well, she's tied up on video, I'll be right back. <laughs> hey, Dottie Lynn, <laughs> welcome. So the first item I'm going to show you guys, I think, was probably at some point one of those toothpick holders or one of those push pin holders. And um, on the bottom, it's got some markings, but anyway, it is this really cute, itty-bitty little woodpecker. And the bottom does say Japan, and I couldn't make out the rest of it, but this piece, is four dollars and it's number 17. four dollars number 17 for the woodpecker little mini air planter okay mm -hmm. oh, maria california maybe maria california thrifter oh, okay so then i'll take that one and put it behind us i'm gonna let you so we're spreadsheet people, so he's got the whole Excel sheet up with, you know, everyone, the numbers, the items, and everyone's name, so we can auto-sort. We're geeks that way, <laughs> so that's where you hear him typing away. All right, how about a swan? Does anyone like swans? Maybe? So this one is, I don't think this one's older. This is a newer one. It's this lovely black swan that's kind of like a soap dish, probably. It does not have a maker's mark on it. And um, if you guys want dimensions of anything in particular, I do have my measuring tape and weight uh, scale. Thank you. Well, anyways, so this guy is $8, and he is number 28. $8, number 28 for the black swan. We'll do that in a minute. I suspected, Kim. I suspected. <laughs> We'll start a little Kim Swan pile. There we go. You got that? I okay. Do. So let's see. Um, this is a cute little figurine girl. And of course, I've got her tag stuck on her. She has no maker's mark on her, but she's a light blue with gold detailing, a little Dutch girl or a little washer girl. She is $5. And she is number 16. Oh, Kim, I'm glad your swan arrived okay. $5, number 16. Little washer girl. Anyone who collects blue and white? Her tag back on. Okay. I can't get her tag back on. There. <laughs> <laughs> All right. What else? So this is a cute little unique bud vase I saw. And uh, well, check him out. So if you ever need to tell someone I'm sorry, this is a really, really cute way to do it. I couldn't make out the mark on the bottom. I wanna say it's a 90s piece. She ships very carefully. Ah, uh, thank you, Carrie. Yeah, I tend to uh, overdo the bubble wrap, but I'd rather you get it in one piece. So this little beaver bud vase that says, I'm sorry, it is ceramic, is $6 and he's number 23. This little guy. $6, number 23. All right. Salt and pepper shakers, salt and pepper shakers, duck alert. And I put this on. Okay. So these are a set of Lefton made in Japan, duck, and Dottie Lynn, you, collect, you can correct me if these are duck or geese because I always get them mixed up. They've got the pink and blue ribbons. They do have both their corks. These might be replacement corks because they are plastic. But for the pair, it's $9 and they're number seven. So $9, number seven for the cute Lefton ducks. Oh, 
I'm sorry, sorry Maria. Maria. We have a winner for the Ducks. Dottie Lynn gets the Ducks. Thank you. All right. So here's, here's a guy with a fun face. For those of you who love quirky faces, check him out. This guy is just hysterical, laughing up a storm. It's classic Rose Collection, Rosenthal Group, Germany. So this, I did kind of look this guy up on Etsy and he seemed like he was pretty fancy. He's a nice ceramic piece. And he is $12 and number 14. $12 number 14 for this beautiful Easter decor rabbit. Little vintage says D is still going. Okay. That's fine. Well, we'll revisit some of these at the end just in case. And actually, um, Dottie Lynn, the green rabbit face you got for me had that same rabbit on it. So it must have been like a mold. Okay. Let's see. How about another air planter? So this is a cute little corn piece. It may have been used for um, butter or I'm not sure what it was used for. The only thing I see is it has just a tiny little line on the handle, but doesn't go all the way through. But I figured this would be really, really cute as an air planter. Hey, butterfly nurse, welcome. So this little guy, I got in a lot with others that said that they were from Portugal. He is $5 and number 34. $5 number 34 for this little corn scooper planter. How about a little trinket dish? So I have this lovely floral mini trinket dish. It's got gold around the rim. It says country flowers, Royal Grafton, fine bone china, made in England. And it's got these pretty flowers on it. This is $5 and it's number 22. $5 number 22 for the little Lovely vanity trinket dish. It's getting warm in here. Welcome to Florida Summers. I know Florida Summers. And fair warning, we've been waiting for the lawnmower company to come all day. So I'm pretty sure that because I'm doing a live video, they're going to come and mow the lawn tonight while we're doing this. So, okay. I have another little bud vase. This is just a cute little pearl, pearlized, like iridescent piece. It's got a pretty pink rose. It's got almost like that oil, you know when it's got like that oil finish that has the rainbow look to it? So it's just a cute little bud vase. It is $4 and it is number 15. There is no maker's mark on the bottom. There is no damage. The flowers are still in good condition. So $4, number 15. Oops. Here, just, we don't want to lose that. <laughs> okay. Oh. What? Oh, so got Christina her. got it. Good grab, Christina. Post Christina, postcards, and Patina got that one. All righty. So let's see, let's see. How about a little Thanksgiving, a little bit of Thanksgiving? So these are a set of little vintage candles, and I'll show them to you. I looked these up online, and they actually come from a candle company um, out of New York, and it's these little vintage pilgrim people. They do have a little bit of wear to them, but they have not been burned. They've got their marks on the bottom, see? So there is one little girl and the guys for some reason look like puppies. I don't, <laughs> I don't understand, but you have these two pilgrim guys. This one, 
looks like it's missing the wick on top. I don't know if you'd actually want to um, go ahead and burn these. Then there's this little girl. And she does have a little bit of melting on the back. And then there's this set. Oops, camera angle. And now this guy looks like he did melt on the bottom, so he's the only one that doesn't stand. All the rest stand. But for that set of vintage candles, it is only $5 and they are number nine. $5, number nine for the set of vintage Thanksgiving candles. And like I said, I think they came about from the 40s. Okay. Newton's covered. All right, Michelle. Yeah, they're really unique. And I'll probably wrap them each um, a little separate so they're not all rubbing together on their way to you. Okay, how about a pair of salt and pepper shakers? These cute puppies, they no longer have their corks and they don't have their maker's mark. So I don't know if they are Japan. They do have a little bit of wear from age. I'm praising. Oh, yeah, those would be great on a tiered tray. What? No mating allowed. No mating allowed. <laughs> they seem to be very well behaved. Is he talking about the dogs? <laughs> I don't know what's going on. <laughs> Michelle, wait. <laughs> anyway, so these puppies are $6, and they're number 54. $6, number 54 for the cute puppy doggies. How many people do we have watching? I'll have to check oh, in a second. Connie Cable. Good grab, Connie. Yeah. We got Connie Cable for the puppy dog shakers. All right. How about a trinket box now? And now, Dad, I'm just letting you know I'm going to say the name wrong again. I know I've showed <laughs> this before. So this is a lovely England trinket box. It does have one little ding on the side but it has these english scenes i want to make sure you guys can see that and it's got the one on the top and it is royal worcestershire worcester fine bone china england and it's got the label the inside's in excellent condition this little guy is $6 and he's number 12. $6, number 12. Oh, no, me. I, I got it. I got it, Michelle. She meant the pilgrims. There's no. It is a hard one. Triple S mercantile. Right. Dottie Lynn, you got it. I'm sorry. I should let you. That is the right. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> we'll put that with your ducks. <laughs> okay. Let's do another set of salt and pepper shakers. These guys, hey, I have. Blue Flamingo. Hey, Blue Flamingo, what's up? So these guys, I have no idea what they are. Cats, not sure. They don't have a tail. They do have the wood corks. I These feel like they are Japan. Worcestershire, Worcestershire. Thank you, Christina. That was Worcestershire. Hey, Nathaniel, wait, welcome. Nate's here. So these guys are $8 and they're number 53. And they're in great condition. There's just a little coloration on the back of this one that looks like a seam, but it's not. So these guys are super cute. $8, number 53. Nice grab, Connie. Connie Cable. Did she get the dogs too? Yep. Oh, cool. Awesome. Oh, I need to some stuff. Okay. Connie beat you to it. Oh, sorry, Michelle. Connie got it. All right. It's starting to heat up here. <laughs> Let's see. Who likes amber glass? Anyone like amber glass? Hey, Tina B. Welcome, everyone. My hosts. <laughs> 
Uh, for those of you just joining, this is John, my husband, and he's helping out. Okay, so next up, I have a set of amber dishes for you. I have this cute little amber heart trinket dish. And to go with it, even though it's not exactly the same pattern, I have this round one as well. This one's a little heavier. But I thought these would make a cute like little bathroom set or vanity set. You get both of them for $10 and it's number 25. So $10, number 25 for both amber pieces. Blue Flamingo. Nice grab, Blue. Thank you, Lori. Hey, Lori, since um, I'm probably going to see you next Saturday, I can always just bring your stuff to you. Just let me know. All righty. How about we do a planter? Let's do a planter, guys. So this little guy is a made in Taiwan one. He's a little rocking horse. The only thing I noticed is there is a little, if you can see that there's a little ding on the ear. Sorry guys, I'm still learning where the camera focuses on here. So there's this, this is an adorable nursery rocking horse made in Taiwan. It is $10 and number 37. $10 number 37 for this super sweet rocking horse. Nice Christina, grab, Christina, thank you. I'm gonna run out of room behind me. <laughs> okay, how about a cream and sugar set? So I will show you the creamer first. Let me make sure I get the. And this set is called Heritage Pattern. It's an 80s style, but I really loved the birds on it. And it is stoneware. We'll turn this around. It's brick oven stoneware. Dishwasher safe, microwave safe, no chips or issues. So that is the creamer. And then this is the cute little sugar dish that goes with it. I just really liked the pattern. The blue birds is what caught my eye and the yellow flowers for spring. No cracks, no cracks, no issues on the lids. The interior is still good. You get the pair for $10 and they're number 43. Hey, Pam. So that was $10 for number 43 if you're interested in the cream and sugar set. Dopers. Um, how about some lace, guys? So this piece is 22 and a half inches wide by 42 inches long. It is a lovely. Oh, we got a bit on uh, the heritage pattern. Newton's cupboard. Oh, okay. Michelle, you got the cream and sugar set. Oh, sorry, mom. Michelle beat you to it. it. You got that. You'll put that up there. Yep. So this is a lovely, I guess this would be like a dresser scarf. So it's about 22 inches long by 43 inches wide. It's got a pretty floral pattern to it. It is $12 and number five for the black lace scarf. $12 number, what did I say? Number five. Number five. Christina. Good grab, Christina. Keep the cats away from that. Okay. How about, I guess these would be like table doilies. I think I have them separated. I did measure these. <laughs> these, what? I'm not going to use it on a dresser. Oh. <laughs> it's a really pretty lace piece. I've not seen like black lace before. So, so these are 12 and a half inch diameter. Let me show you the correct size. They're pretty cross stitch butterfly doilies. So there's one. 
and this is the other one. There's no stains on them. They've got this great pattern. And they are uh, $12 for the pair, and they are number 10. So I guess these are like little dressers, uh, nightstands, pieces. So $12, I can show you the right side, number 10. Way to go. All right, all right free delivery, Mom. <laughs> <laughs> All right, how about another swan? Now this swan comes from a land of misfit items that have been damaged and are looking for a new home. So I have this beautiful black drip glaze swan. It's got this teal coloring. The only sadness is, I don't know if you guys can see it, but its neck has been broken and glued back on. This side looks worse than the other side. The other side, when I first picked it up, I didn't even notice. It's just got some matting. So you could even like tie a little ribbon on it. But I did take that into consideration. So, oh, and it's got, I think this is for styrofoam on the inside. It's got no maker's mark on the bottom. This one is only $5 and it's number 11. $5, number 11 for the misfit swan looking for a new home. Oh, that's a shame, Nate. Blue Good flamingo. Blue. blue beat you guys to it. Lori C, you got it. All righty. How about some plastic farm animals? So I have this little baggie. Now, I don't know if these guys are older, but I thought for anyone who likes little vignettes, you might get a kick out of these. I'll show you them real quick. You have the cow. And it says, this one does say made in China on it. So with my luck, they're probably, you know, Dollar Tree. But you get a cow. You get a little rooster and a hen. Uh, is Nate causing trouble? <laughs> I'm glad you guys are having fun. Thanks everyone for coming out. If you haven't got a chance, guys, if you're not subscribed, make sure you hit that subscribe button and the thumbs up so you'll stay up to date. You get two little piggies. So a cow, the chickens, two little piggies. We've got a goat and we've got a horse. And then you've got a little duck and a lamb. So I thought these would be cute for a little staging for fall. So the set is $5 and it's number 47. $5, number 47 for the set of little plastic farm animals. Another good grab, Lou. Just click on that button. Yep, I think uh, Lori C is gonna be our Shirley Pearl for this episode. Oh, <laughs> thanks, Michelle. That's sweet. And I also have a lot of um, crafting and DIY videos because that's what I did before I got into the thrifting. So I have tons of those on there, too. Okay. Let's see. I don't know. Do you think it's time to do an offer up? How many people we got? What do you think, everybody? Let's see. We've got 29 people watching. You ready? Yep. All right, it's, we're gonna do an offer up. So if you guys don't know what an offer up is, what it, what'll happen is, okay, I can explain this. I know I can, I'm getting tongue tied guys, I'm sorry. So what happens is there is a starting price and for one minute, you guys can place offers in dollar increments on the item. So say I say the item is $8. John is going to type the word start into the chat. When you see that word start, you can begin to place your, your bids. Some people start right out of the gate with just a dollar. Some go up more. And then at the end of the minute, we will say stop, but look for the word stop in the chat. The highest bid before the word stop is the one who wins. 
So what I'm doing as an offer up is I have a set of Lefton 1989 Christmas ducks. The only condition thing with them is that someone had used red candles on them. So there is some wax that needs to be removed. But other than that, they're in great condition. So I'll just show you, they've got the pretty holly. They still have their bow and ribbons on them. I heard someone say Vinny, is vintage Vinny on here? Okay guys, so we're gonna get ready and I'm going to start these at, can you get your timer ready? Yep. I don't remember what I did guys, sorry. All right, their opening bid is going to be $10 is what they're gonna start at. And let me know when you're ready. As soon as you tell me to, I'm gonna hit start. All right, start. $10 is the opening bid for the set of candle holder left in patchwork Christmas ducks. We got our first bid. We've got Pam at $12. With 40 seconds left. Hold on. These guys are really cute. They have their bows still. They're in great condition. We have Pam at 12. Oh, we've got a 13. We've got 20 seconds left. We've got Triple S at 13. They're waiting for your Christmas table, guys. They're calling your name. All right, 12 seconds left. We've got Triple S at 13. Eight, seven, seven. six. All right, stop, guys. All right. All right, we've got Dottie Lynn at $13 for the pair of left in ducks. Mm -hmm. That was fun, guys. Thank you. I appreciate it. How about an elephant? Who likes elephants? Oops. Donnie Lynn, $13. Triple S Mercantile. All righty. All righty. You know, it is exciting. I'm having fun. I hope you guys are having fun, too. So, oh, I was like, where did I put the price tag? Uh oh, there we go. So I have an elephant vase. It's got a beautiful shimmer to it. Got gold detailing on the elephant. It's pretty big. I'd say it's probably at least a six inch bud vase. It does not have a maker's mark. Thank you, Carolina Princess. So this guy is ten dollars and he's number 39 ten dollars number 39 for this elephant bud vase pam's eclectic pam's got it pam's eclectic got it okay let's see now these are pretty neat she is doing great, Christina. Oh, uh, thank you. So you guys saw these in a haul video of mine. And I am selling them in the sale today. I'm selling the set of girls. So I'll show you this one first. This one, she's carrying her little purse. They do not have a maker's mark on them. The only issue I noticed is that on this one, the tip of her rose, she just needs a little touch up. But other than that, she's in great condition. There's no maker's mark. So she's this pretty pink color. Just a really, and I think that these are probably like a homemade ceramic piece. Someone hand painted these. And then <clears throat> this little girl, it looks like she's in a purple color dress and she's got her little doggy. Look at how cute that dog is. And she doesn't have any damage to her bows. She's in excellent condition as well. So, and they're 11 inches tall, both of them. So for the pair, they're $18 and they're number 30. $18, number 30 for the pair of girls. Ooh, 
I need some more water. Nice grab, Triple S. Aw, thank you, Dobby Lynn. Ooh, everything's all right. <laughs> Nobody panic. We need a bigger table. Aw, thanks, Nate. I appreciate that. We're going to get lots of people now, Nate. Thank you. <laughs> I'm surprised the cats haven't made an appearance. But they have a giant scratch post in front of us, and they're sleeping there right now. Don't tempt the face. I know. All right. <laughs> How about a schnauzer? Oh, that took off part of the sticker. Of course it did. So this next is just a little schnauzer. He did have some sort of labeling on him, but it's been, like, covered up a couple of times. He's fairly light. So for this little guy, he is $6 and he's number 26. That little face. Take me home. $6, number 26. Okay. All right, what else? So this next piece, is another one from my Land of Misfit collections. It is from the Harvey Knox Kingdom. It is Japan made. He is a little owl who needs some love. His little bow has some damage on the end that needs touching up. And he's fine from the front. There is the... But on the back, he needs a little touching up too. So this little cute bow tie owl is only $3 and he's number 19 for my land of misfit ceramics looking for a new home. $3, number 19. Good Aww, grab, little, little vintage. Diana, you got it. Okay. Um, how about another little figurine? This little guy I figured would be cute if someone collects blue and little blue and white figurines. He doesn't have any maker's marks. He's just a little dude. And this guy is only $2 and he is number 20. Perfect for a cute little fairy garden or a planter or your little figurine collection. I know Diana, yay, you got one. So he's $2 and number 20. Oh, quite a few people want that last one. Good grab, people ask. Let's see. Oops, sorry, babe. Whew. All right. How about another pair of salt and pepper shakers? So these guys have the red cold painted, so you know what that means. Oops. Grace is asking from which state do we ship? We are shipping from Florida. So if you're just joining, guys, I am in Florida, and I'm shipping from northeastern Florida. And at the end of the sale, when you've won an item, you're going to go ahead. My email is scrolling across the screen. You're going to email me your real name, your YouTube name, your PayPal email, if it's different than the email you're sending from, and your address and the items you've won, so I can send you an invoice. Everything is shipping is additional. Thank you everyone for chiming in. I appreciate that. We appreciate all the help. So these are, they're Empress made in Japan. The red is cold painted, so it does have some wear, but they are this set of roosters or chickens. They do have their wood corks and it is $8 for the pair and they are number 55. And there is the maker's mark. So there's this guy, $8, number 55. There's no breaks or damage. I'm double checking. And you have the bigger guy. It just has some red wear. Okay, $8, number 55, for the chicken roosters. Okay. <laughs> How about another little air planter? This is a little 
milk can with the little girl and she's got her kitties. She's got she's holding one kitty and she's got another one on the ground. This is you. Hey Thrift You. Welcome, welcome to the party. So we've got this little milk can air planter. She is four dollars and number eighteen. She's got some gold detailing on the top, or is that silver? I'm sorry, silver detailing on the top. Four dollars, number eighteen, for the little girl and her kitty cats. She does look like strawberry shortcake. It just didn't have any maker's mark on the bottom, so I wasn't sure. I thought she was cute. All righty, yes, we're making some room here. Okay. So I have another trinket dish. It's this pretty uh, leaf shaped one. On the back it says hand painted, made in Japan. And it's got this beautiful floor detailing and I couldn't make out the signature to look it up. It's got some gold detailing. So this little dish is $6 and number 21. $6 number 21 for this lovely little vanity dish. Oh, wow, butterfly nurse. Are you in the path of the hurricane there in Texas? There you go. That's craziness. Okay. Um, salt and pepper shakers. So these are definitely an older set. They're a bit heavier, so I'm not sure that they are uh, Japan, but they are these great vintage corn shakers. They both have their corks. It is, they are $8 for the set and they are number eight. $8, number eight for the set of little corn vintage shakers. And I think these are probably made in Portugal because they came with the set of Portugal ones. So $8, number eight. Yes, please be safe all y'all in Texas. We're thinking about you guys. Please be careful. We hope it goes around you and you guys don't get much damage at all. We certainly know what going through a hurricane is like. Okay. So I have another little decorative plate here. So this is a wooden, this is a wooden hand painted plate. It's got a pretty floral detail. I thought this would be nice. Let me get it right side up. A nice fall decor piece. This is hand painted and it is wood. It does not have a maker's mark or anything. I know the back looks like it's showing up green, but it's just dark wood. It is $5 and this is number two. $5, number two for this wooden plate. Thanks, good man. Oh, Carolina Princess. You got it, girl. I'm using it as a fan for a second. <laughs> it's multi-purpose. It is multi. It's multi-functional. So Carolina Princess gets the wooden plate. All right, where are my owl people? My owl lovers out there. Sorry, Pam. Carolina beat you to it. Okay. I have this. Brass engraved owl art. It is made in England and signed Joel Kirk. It is part of a line of other pieces. So this owl piece is $10 and it is number one. $10 number one for the metallic owl etched graving, engraving wall art. Good grab, Newton. Thank you, Michelle. All right. oh. Whoop, up. Getting a battle going on, but Newton, <laughs> Newton beat you to it. The owls would do that every time. Speaking of owls, do you think it's time for another offer up? I think it is. I think we should do another offer up. Well, I'm glad that, yeah, that, that one was pretty cool. When I saw that one, I picked it up and I knew I was going to save it for a live sale. 
So um, I know most of you guys know what the offer up is, but what it is is I'm going to start an item out at a certain price and you will have one minute to um, bid in dollar increments on the item. John will let us know and when you see the word start in the comments, that's when you will start your dollar increments. And then when the minute is up, we'll say stop. Oh, thanks, Carrie. And the first person who says, I lost <laughs> <laughs> I gotta stop reading the comments, guys. So the highest bid before the word stop wins. So, and I got this shirt at Torrid, Carrie, Torrid shirt. So what I have for you now, this sadly does not work, but if you are handy, you can put a new mechanism in. It is a hand painted ceramic owl. And it looks like the battery on the inside um, where the batteries go had corroded. We did put in batteries, it is not functioning, but I thought it was still beautiful and someone could still use this as a lovely display piece. Or if you're handy, like I said, you could put in a new insert. I do believe it is hand painted. So we are going to start this guy at $8 will be the opening bid. So when John's ready. I'm getting ready to say start. Everybody ready? So $8 is the opening bid in dollar increments. Here we go. Start. There we go. So $8 is the opening bid for this ceramic owl. It does not have a, it does say, look like Isabel is the person who painted it. That is on the bottom. We got a $10 bid from KC. Carrie's at 10, going strong, diving in there. We have 38 oh, seconds left. Hands bid 11. We're at $11 with 32 seconds left. 30 seconds left. 26, We're at $16. We got a $12. Oh, no, 16. 16 with 20 seconds left. The triple S is at 16. 16 is the high bid with 14 seconds left. 13. We still have 17. Have Blue 17. Flamingo. Eight seconds left, guys. Five. Four. We got 18. And stop. Okay, we're going to refresh because that was a close one. So we're going to hit the refresh and let you know who it was, guys. Just give us a minute. <laughs> as soon as my clock will stop yelling at us. And we're going to reload that just to see. Thank you, Carrie. And our highest bid was 19 before stop. So Blue Flamingo, you got this. For 19. That's such a cute owl. I really like that. Girls, thanks for moderating. I appreciate your pew pew pewing. You know what I'm talking about. All right. So I have another pottery piece here. And this one, I was excited because it's a beautiful drip glaze. And the bottom, although it's starting to wear off, looks like it was it was made in Western Germany. What are you? Oh, are they all throw your wrenches? <laughs> Get them. Get them. <laughs> so it's this beautiful drip glaze piece. I'm hoping the lighting is. So it's black with yellow and like a mint blue and it's got some purple gray and the inside is this lovely pastel blue. It says in gold a little on the bottom, West Germany. This is a mid-century piece. This one is $12 and it's number 50 for the mid-century pottery piece. This would make a beautiful planter. I'll give them all. <laughs> Nice grab, Blue. You're going to have a, a big old box when I see you. <laughs> Makes it a little easier. All righty. How about another small item? So how about some feet, guys? What do you think? These are salt and pepper shakers. 
They are made by CCC Co. And they are $10 and number 52. Now talk about a conversation piece for your, your table. So $10, number 52. Oh, that was your first troll. Oh, <laughs> and I got one pretty fast, huh? They rent a U-Haul. <laughs> <laughs> You've made it. So $10, number 52. Okay. Put those aside. All right. Let's see. Let's see. How about a holiday piece? So this is a ceramic handmade piece. I believe it's from the 70s because I think it's, it's dated EW72. And to me, it looks like a lovely like Christmas poinsettia. Those feet are everywhere. That's funny. They must be popping up like everyone's getting rid of them. Oh, he did? That's funny. So I have this poinsettia. And you can see on the back. Um, let's see if I can get it for you. It says EW72. So this is a ceramic piece. This is $8 and it's number 44. I thought this would be really pretty for Christmas time. $8, number 44. That's a weird niche for s and Maybe if you were a foot doctor, you'd like to have the foot salt and pepper shakers. I don't know. So $8, number 44 for the... I forget what I called it, holly dish. Oh, good, the sun's coming out. Oh, welcome back, Michelle. <laughs> okay, this I have a little a little picture frame for you. It's by a company called Serenade by Shafford, 1985. It is a beautiful white ceramic piece with embo embossed. Ah, uh, the New York came out. With Look at the beautiful embossed bird. And then the flowers on the bottom are embossed as well. So this piece is $8 and it's number three for this ceramic picture frame. And the picture goes in the top. The beautiful. <laughs> Michelle, you make me laugh. So it was $8 number three. Folks, with that one. Oh, Carolina, Carolina Princess, you got it. So, I'm going to move some stuff here so I can start putting sales stuff up top. Oops, I don't know what that one, too. Okay. So, this you guys might have seen at the antique mall. Good job, Beth. So, this I picked up and the tag has been removed. The inside feels silky. I can't guarantee it's 100% vintage, but I thought it was beautiful. It's this beaded purse. I think the handles have been replaced. But it's this beautiful teal green. It's showing up bluer on here. And the inside is very clean. So for this guy, it is $18 and number four. $18 and number four for your new date night purse. I'm shipping from Florida, Ferns Finds. Yeah, you heard my New York come out. Yeah, I was born and raised in the Hudson Valley and moved down to Florida when I was 18. So I've been here for over 18 years and I lived in New York for 18 years. Oh, do I need to refresh guys? Are we buffering? So one more time, that was $18, number four. We're going to reload, fresh. guys. Oh, it's just you? Okay. Hey, Corey, welcome. So this guy is 18 and number four. Clean interior condition. Okay. Maybe I'll just keep it. It does go with your eyes. Very nice, <laughs> darling. All right. So this is a lovely mint colored trinket dish. It is footed with these beautiful gold feet. It says O Ponder on the bottom. I tried Googling it, but I could not find anything 
um, about it. And it has these lovely flowers on the top. And the inside is clean. Hi, Sandy. Thank you everyone for joining. I appreciate it. So this little trinket box is $8 and it's number 24. $8 number 24. Good catch, Christina. Christina. Okay. So who likes mushrooms? This is kind of a unique mushroom piece because this looks like it was probably, it's gonna come out bad, a kindergartner's project is what it looked like. But I thought it was really cute and it is a little mushroom pocket dish that looks like someone handmade it. And I did weigh it, it is a little heavier, it was only 10 ounces. So just this alone would probably still fall possibly into first class if I didn't use crazy amounts of bubble wrap. But I thought this was really cute. And it's $6 and number 27 for this little mushroom handmade craft project. $6 number 27. Okay, how about some bird art? So this is a set of, now I say Sirocco. I don't know if I'm saying it right. Oh. Oh, rescue. Awesome, thank you. I'm not sure if that's Sour or Sam or both of you, but thank you. You also have to email me, let me know which one you gets it. So I have this set of Sirocco metallic birds so here's the first one with i think these are like cherry blossoms so here's the first one and here's the second one so you get the set of two they are 18 dollars and number 46. 18 dollars number 46 and you can see the date on the back so 18 and then and they do actually also have a label that says Copper Craft Guild on it also. Forgot to mention that. Hey, Sarah. That's Sarah that's watching. She's the mom. <laughs> okay, so you set those aside. Okay. Hey, I've almost cleared a spot on the table, guys. So now this piece was labeled as a Hummel, but it does not say Hummel on the bottom. Oop, 46. Nice grab, Newton. Is that the birds? Yep. Michelle. Put some more water. We actually have some champagne still from our wedding five years ago. We're gonna celebrate after the first after the sales over my first sale so check out her face you guys see her so there's too much light so this is um when i purchased her it said that she was a hummel girl but she does not have the hummel label on her anymore but i thought she was still cute she's about seven dollars seven dollars seven or eight inches tall <laughs> <laughs> she is twelve dollars and she is number four She's got her little basket. She has no finger damage. Sorry, that's number 41. 41, number sorry. $12, number 41. She doesn't have any finger damage or anything. I'll post the picture of us cheering on Instagram. So you guys, make sure you're following over on my Instagram, Side Street Market, because I, I'm on there daily and in my stories, and I'll keep you all updated on I am doing only one sale a month, so my next sale will be September 19th. So this is my only sale for August. So you'll be hanging out with us once a month and seeing what goodies we get. Okay, so she was $12, number 41. All right. Her side. Okay. Now for my land of misfit planters. 
this girl, she's been through some stuff. She's been decapitated. Her side's oh, been, oops. She had a bit on the Hummel. All righty. Dolly Lane, you get the Hummel. I'll let you put that back there. So this, this pretty girl, but her face is still adorable. But she's been through some stuff. You can see where she's been re-glued. I did um, clean her up because she was a bit grungy, but look how cute her face still is. But you can see where she's been cracked along the neck and on her side. But I just, I couldn't let her be destroyed in a Goodwill. You can see the crack on the inside. But, you know, you could probably also just take some good white paint and touch her up. Look how cute she is. So with that in mind, just wanting to find her a good home, she is $4 and she's number 31 and she's also Napco wear. So she's just looking for a good home because she's been through some stuff. She's got a story to tell. $4, number 31. Aw, that's nice, Butterfly Nurse. Pam, Good you got girl, her. Pam. I'll make sure she's extra, extra bubble wrapped for you. And I'll stuff the inside. She's And she's got a little pink on her paws, too. I didn't know if that showed up. I noticed that after I cleaned her up. Up, oh, almost got it, girls. Pam won that Pam one. Was the winner. Can you set this back up there somewhere? Okay. I have another swan offering. So this is a gold and floral swan bud vase. That beautiful floral detail. There is somewhere to the gold on the side. It does not, it had a maker's mark that was a big purple stamp at some point that has worn off. Got gold on the top. This one is $12 and it's number 45. $12, number 45. Oh, thanks, thanks, Michelle. I was nervous all day. You can ask him. We had to go thrifting into my storage unit and stuff. So I, I was excited. It was, I was ready to hang out with you guys, you know? All right. How about some wall pockets? Now these do not have a maker's mark on them. So I don't know if they're like vintage or newer, but I thought they were just super cute in coloring. So there are these pink and blue wall pockets. There is a set of two of them. No chips, no damage. They are $12 for the set. And they are number 29. $12, number 29 for the set of wall pockets. That's a great idea, Grace. That's really nice. Blue Flamingo. Blue Flamingo is the winner on that one. That's $12. Number 29. I'm out of, I'll set them over here. I'm running out of room. Oh. Did we get, the, did anyone get this one or no? No. Okay. So I have a piece of McCoy, but it is from the Floral Line line. The Floral Line, say that 10 times fast. Aw, thanks, Pam. Yeah, I've a, uh, I've been doing, this is my third year doing YouTube, but this is my first year really getting in front of the camera for people. Cause normally they just saw my hands for all my craft videos that I did. I was really into all that, but sorry guys, I digress. So this is a beautiful floral line, which is the a line that the McCoy pottery made for florist shops. And it's coming out kind of pale yellow on here, but it's a little bit brighter than that. Maybe I can. Floral line, but this is $16 and number 48. Perfect for spring. The color's a little better back here. $16, number 48 for this basket weave ceramic floral line piece. Aw, thanks, Grace. Yeah, I thought this would be cute for Easter. See the rabbit? You know, you could put like some eggs and the little rabbit in it. 
Okay, so we'll set that one aside. Okay, let's see. We're slowly getting there, guys. I gotta move some stuff closer. I can't reach. All right. So we will try this piece. Now, I don't know if this one, this one has no markings. I know I've seen these. I don't know if it's left in, but it is a holly sled. Now, it does have a few little, um, on this side, you can see here and here, the two little corners need a little touch up. And then on this side, it just has one front, one back corner that needs a touch up. It does not have a maker's mark or anything on the bottom. But I thought that this would be really, really, hey, Laura Vimos, welcome. I thought this would be a nice um, Christmas piece. It is $9 and number 36 for this holly sled. $9, number 36. And for those just joining, I am in Florida, so I am shipping from Florida. And this is my husband, John, helping me out tonight. Good grab, Thrift. Awesome, Thrift you. Thank you. Sarah, I know you said you're good at touching things up, so I figured someone could give this a good home. I'll put it over here because I'm afraid of breaking it or unless you want to put it. Thank you. Such a good helper. Okay. Now, Little Vintage Me taught me about this one. So, if Little Vintage Me, Diana, if you're still on, you help me figure this one out. So, what this is, was used for, is you've got this corn piece on the bottom. Do you think you should move the curtains a little bit? Because I'm getting a lot of, like, I'm getting a lot of, like, I don't know if you guys can see the color as well. Helping. That's helping a little. Yeah, now you guys can see the colors a little better. So this is the warmer, and then this is where you put the butter on top. But I thought, how cute would this also look if you don't want to, like, be doing the actual butter with an air plant on top and air plants coming out the sides on your table for a spring display. The so Little Vintage Me was the one that I had these separate in a video and didn't know what they were, and she looked it up and found out that it was a butter warmer set. So you get both of them for $9 and it's number 36. No, that was the Holly sled. That was the Holly sled? Yep. Let me check something. Then, oh, what's yep. <laughs> Holly sled? Sorry. Let's rewind. Or you could use it to warm butter. I mean, so this is $10 for the set number 33. Sorry about that, guys. So you can use it as a butter warmer with the tea light underneath to warm your butter, or you can use it for an air planter set. I thought that was cool. $10 and number 33 for the set. Good catch, babe. <laughs> there you go. This one's very delicate, be careful. Need some water. So these glasses, I got a Goodwill thinking that they were um, maybe Libby or something. I came home, the Walmart Pioneer Women, so they went into our collection instead of on my Etsy. Okay. How about a bell, guys? Now, I don't know if she's a nurse or if she's a nun or if she's both. She is made in Taiwan by Brins, and look how cute she is. She's this little, I don't want to do it too loud, this little nurse. And then she's got this beautiful floral pattern on her skirt. So she's a little bit darker brown on the back, a little bit more beige, and she's a lighter white on the front, and then she's got the brown uniform. She is $6 and number 56. $6, number 56 for the little nurse bell. Are you refreshing again? Yes. We're just refreshing, guys, just to make sure we're keeping up with you. Okie dokie. 
my last swan of the evening, everyone. Last swan call for the night. This is a, whoop. Mom got it. I'll put it in your pile, Mom. Thank you. You both got that one. I forgot you have a bell collection, Mom. So, yeah, my mom and dad are watching, guys. So this is just a lovely little white planter swan. It is a made in Taiwan piece. This one is $8 and it's number 32. $8, number 32 for this lovely white swan. I think with some real bright greenery coming out of it, it'd be really pretty. Oh, my vintage. I had a suspicion, girl. All right. Got that okay? All righty. Uh-oh. One of our cats is climbing down. We'll see what happens if he makes an appearance. So this is a pretty, I thought for fall, it's a pitcher with a beautiful drip glaze. It's brown. The bottom says USA. So I tried to do some Googling on this and I found some sets of McCoy that looked like this, but I can't guarantee that that's what it is because I'm still learning. This piece does have a little bit of weight to it. So if you want, I can wait if you guys are interested. Kim, you're so funny with your swans. How many of my, you must have like five or six swans for me now. <laughs> <laughs> but this guy is, um, it could be whole, Corey. I'm still learning all the, um, the different call the pottery brands. But on this guy, I have 15 and he's number 42. So $15, number 42. I just love the beautiful drip glaze on a full tablescape. This would look beautiful with some autumn um, leaves and stuff coming out of it. So $15, number 42. Hey now, hey, listen here, butterfly nurse. <laughs> He's such a good sport. Okay, I have two more offer ups I need to go through and I only have one three, four, five, six pieces that I haven't shown yet. And then I'll go back through some of the other ones. So, uh, <laughs> uh Oh, now Nate, listen here, Nate. <laughs> Don't encourage. <laughs> <laughs> so let's do an offer up again, guys. Up oh, grace. Thank you. <laughs> so <clears throat> I'm getting a little tickle guys. Sorry. Everyone have the offer up down pretty much. Does anyone need me to explain what offer up is again? Because I think most of you now have been here for it. Nate, we still have to get your t-shirts from Thrift Q. I keep forgetting to go back on the site and get the, what was it, Nate 2020? 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 23. Anyway, so we're getting ready to do an offer up. What did I have on this one? Okay. And this one, I believe this is Shawnee. It did have some inner rim damage. So I'm going to do this as an offer up. I'll show you all the, it's cold painted on the front. So you guys can get a good look at this guy. Bye, Thrift You. Bye, Sarah. Thank you for hanging out. We'll be watching you Sunday night. So we're gonna do this as an offer up. I'm gonna start him at $8. So when you're ready. Okay, I'm getting ready to start. So everybody get ready. All right, we're starting. There you go. $8 for the Shawnee pig pitcher is the opening price. And he does have the little bit of, where am I? Right there. You've got an opening bid. See, that's only a little bit. So I'm starting in the eight. May the force be with you. <laughs> so we have $8 from Newton's Cupboard for the Shawnee Pig Pitcher. 
30 seconds left. We've got a bit of nine. Blue Flamingo's at nine. Take me home with we you. 10, 20 seconds. Newton's Cupboard's at 10. Blue Flamingo's at 11. We've 10 got seconds left. 10 seconds. Bit of 12. Newton's at 12. Five, four, three, two, one. Stop. And stop. Are you going to refresh your? All right. Let me go <laughs> refresh. <Very. laughs> <laughs> We're just going to refresh, but we think we see who this one is. And the top bid was 12. From Michelle, From Newton's Cupboard, Newton's you cover. get to take this guy home with you. That's a good price, Michelle. You did good on that one. Okay. So, I have another little vase piece. I don't know if this would be called just a vase, but it is made in Austria. You guys may have seen this when I thrifted the, the vintage mall. It's got kind of like a yellow... Vaseline color to it. I don't know if that's coming through, but it's got these pretty pink roses on it. <clears throat> I told you, John. She, tell she told me she'd be number one. Oh, yeah. Got to watch out. So this one is $9, and it's number 38 for this lovely Austria vase. Little mini pitcher. Oh, that sounds good. You're making me hungry, butterfly nurse. I do love chicken dumplings. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so, mm -hmm. where were we at? Nine dollars for number thirty-eight. Yeah, nine dollars for number thirty-eight. I've got a tickle, so I need some. <clears throat> okay. So there is that one. One more time. Okay. Seems I left all my pictures to last. Thank you, sweetie. Mm -hmm. Oh, all oh. my vintage. Thanks, Diana. Your owl will be on its way. Where did you I appreciate that? it. It's right here. Here we go. Yes, if everyone gets a chance who's one to email me tonight, I'm going to try to start doing invoices. Monday and Tuesday, and then once an item is paid, I'll get it out the door within 48 hours, just so you guys know what's going on, provided the hurricanes don't shift our way come Monday, Tuesday. Thanks for coming, Diana. I appreciate it. Dumplings for everybody. Y'all are tracking. My email will say me. Huh? Hey, Margie. <laughs> and I know I've, I've, I've mailed stuff to you before, um, Michelle, too. Okay, so I have another picture, and I think this is called a Toby picture. It's a colonial man. It's three-tone. It goes from teal to, like, a yellow. I thought this would be great a great decorative piece for, like, the 4th of July or patriotic. So this guy is $11 and number 35 for the Colonial Man pitcher, glass pitcher. It doesn't say any maker's marks on the bottom. So he's $11 and number 35. And he's pretty big too. So he's blue and yellow. I've not seen one in multi-tone like this before, so I thought it was pretty neat. You got that one. Oh, Michelle. <laughs> now, Michelle has a sale Tuesday, so we'll just be swapping boxes. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I have another set of salt and pepper shakers. These are made in Taiwan. These are a little bit of farmhouse for you. 
They're bigger guys. They have a duck and a hen. They do have their stoppers. <laughs> and they're just this great milk can. And these are bigger ones. They say S&P on the back. They are $10 and number 51. I can figure out how to turn them around. $10, number 51. I know, 700 inventory items. I want to know how she organizes it. And that's another thing, guys. If you're buying stuff for me to resell, that is awesome. I have no issues with that. Feel free. If you can get more for it in your area, I'm just happy to be helping you guys out, too. So please never feel bad about, like, if you buy something for me and then you resell it, I'm totally fine with that. So again, these were $10 and number 51. Okay. Let's see. Mm -hmm. I have another little mini figurine. It's a little itty bitty teeny tiny Dutch boy. He is on this side missing his little bit of blue that's on this other side. But he is, where'd it go? Made in Japan. The little Dutch boy figurine, perfect for your plants or fairy gar garden. He is $2 and number six. So $2, number six for the little figurine. I know Beth, me too. I have like four hauls videos worth of stuff in the garage right now. So that was $2 for number six, the little Dutch boy, if anyone's interested. The lighting keeps shifting. So now I have a Delft, Delft blue ceramic planter piece. Mom, you're probably going to like this one because you like the blue and white. But I'll show you the bottom first that it is Delft blue made in Holland. It does have freezing. I'm hoping that's coming through to you guys. But I thought this was just, look at the gorgeous water scene. Look at the, and that's the cast in the boxes under the table. It does have crazing. I still thought that this was really, really pretty. So I have this at $15, number 49. $15, number 49. It's pretty big. It's about, um, the opening's about 10 inches. So it's about 10 and a quarter inches long and about four inches deep. Yeah, Grace, Kim and I were talking about that, that we wish we could just shop and then someone else can do the rest of it. So that was $15, number 49. And this one does have a little bit, I mean, it's, it's a thin ceramic, but it's probably at least a pound. Our cat is getting the crazy eyes and he's like directly across from us. Like he could literally lunge off the cat stand at us. Got the crazy eyes. Okay. So next up, we have a set of 70s. And I just set a bowl of 10... That's a good idea, Michelle. Yeah, I'm sorry. It's not a live haul. I'm supposed to be selling stuff. <laughs> so these are very light ceramic yellow. It's a set of cups. They do not have a maker's mark, but they are super duper pretty light ceramic. I love the colors on them. I love the flowers. It's $8 for the set, and they're number 13. I just thought these guys were really pretty. $8 for the set, number 13. Okay, next up, this comes from that giant haul of corn and, um, what was it, corn and cauliflower and everything else I found. It's this really cool corn pitcher. It's got this beautiful mottled green and yellow on the inside. Nice vintage patina on the inside. Oh, Carrie, I'd hire you. 
Carrie, you're in trouble now. We all want to hire you. So I thought this would be really cute in a tablescape. It does not have a maker's mark on the bottom. This picture is $12 and it's number 40. So $12, number 40. Okay. All right, guys, I have my last offer up item. Are you ready? And then that's the last new item I have. And then the rest are just um, what I showed already. I'll go back through them just in case. So are you guys ready for an offer up? It's a treasure craft cookie jar, treasure craft, anyone? Treasure craft cookie jar. So you can see there is a little bit of wear there. It's got some, it's had some love over the years. But I know I saw Treasure Craft on here, where to go? There it is. And it does have its lid. The lid has had a little bit of love. It's got a few little dings on the back. The lid has had some wear from use over time. The inside is still in really good condition. I know, where's George, right? So I just wanna make sure you guys see, it does have a little spot there, but the front is still. It and does not come with cookies, I checked. So you could put that part in the back and still wind it up. So I'm going to start this guy. And remember, I am shipping from Florida. So this does have a little bit of weight. I am starting him at 15. And this is a offer. What did I call it again? Offer up. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. This is an offer up. We'll be starting at $15 if you're interested. So, John, and when you're ready. starting in three, two, one, go. Go. Treasure craft cookie jar. $15. Offer up. If anyone's interested. And I know this is a heavier one, so I get it. If not, <laughs> I just thought I'd give it a shot to you guys first before it goes up on my Etsy or eBay shop. So $15 for the treasure craft. We're at 30 seconds. Chappy. Behave. Seventeen seconds, sixteen, fifteen, fifteen dollars for the treasure craft. Five, four, three, two, one, and stop. Okay. Now, so that was all of my stuff, guys. No, I get that, Michelle. I just figured. I know it's a heavier piece, so I just figured I'd give it a shot on live first, and then, you know, I'll just list it on Etsy so people can, like, see what the weight and stuff's going to be. But I appreciate you guys hopping on, everyone who's bought. Um, I've run through all my main stuff. I can go back through the things I showed in the beginning if you're interested. Speaking of, uh, you would like to know about the rabbit specifically. Oh, okay. And I believe she's discussing that one. So this is, this rabbit was $12 and number 14 because it's a classic Rose collection, Rosenthal group. That was $12, okay. So. Newton's cover. Michelle gets the rabbit. Okay. Now we still do have some corn shakers and okay, yeah, they wants to go back through. So um, do you want to just hand me something, John, and we'll sure. just slowly go back through stuff? We'll just go start there. So we have um, this little schnauzer guy. Just a little figurine. He's $6 and number 26 for the little schnauzer. $6, number 26. Look at that face coming for you.
I'm going to put that over there. We'll do that pile there. Mm -hmm. And let me see. Oh, is her thing still in here? Yep. I can't get it out now. Okay. There you go. I had this little air planter with the little girl. Oops, she's got, she's holding oh, two little. Snows are sold. Oh, Michelle wants a snowser. Oh, no. That's number 14. Margie's is number 20. Oh, I'm sorry. It didn't come up on my screen yet, guys. Okay, Margie, awesome. So that guy sold. So this is a little tiny milk glass air planter. The little girl is holding two kitty cats. It's on both sides, and we've got silver on the top. That's awesome, Beth. I had 41 people watching. Was, that's awesome. That's really cool. Thanks, Thank everybody. you, everyone, and for everyone promoting it and putting it in your stories. I just really appreciate it. This is really exciting. So this guy was $4 and number 18 for the little girl with the milk in the milk thing can. <laughs> so $4, number 18. Yes, thanks, Grace. Thumbs up, folks. And hit that subscribe button. Then we had, um, this was a little beaver figurine. It's a little bud vase. And I'm going to change this. Um, I will, on this one, I will go $4 and it's number 23. $4 number 23 if you want the little beaver bud vase. Michelle. So... I'm just going to reuse those big old boxes Michelle sent me and send them back to her. <laughs> I appreciate it, guys. Thank you so much. <laughs> okay. So here we have the bead purse again. And I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to change this up. So if someone wants it, and I'm going to do an offer up on this real quick. Okay. We're going to throw a curveball at the husband here. One second, I gotta. You can just leave it as it was number. You could put number four. It was number four. So we're gonna do this as an offer up now, guys. For those of you who um, may have wanted it earlier, but the price might have been a little too high. And we are gonna start it at eight dollars. Daddy Lynn, you gotta get. You gotta get going. <laughs> You'll have more boxes coming. You can just have a Christine opening party. So we're going to do this as an offer up. We're going to start it at $8. When John is ready, we're going to hit start. And here we go. Ready to go. And we're going. So opening bid is $8 on this teal beaded purse. Pam, you may want to put that in one more time because you're before the start. So you're, you may want to. 50. Because. Pam put eight dollars, but it was before the start. Up, oh, good Thank job, Pam. Pam. We've got a bit of eight. Eight dollars forty seconds. For the teal beaded purse. Thirty seconds, people. Perfect for elegant evenings out or hanging in in style. 15 seconds. 15 seconds, $8. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, one. And that's <laughs> it. We're done. Michelle, that's those things we read about in the history books when people used to go out to dinner and have nights out. Yeah, that's what an evening out is. So you can just go back and this was number four. Oh, that's fine. We'll figure it out. No worries. We will figure it out. Make sure I don't get a pen on it. Okay. Let's grab something else. Wear it thrifting. There you go. You can thrift in style.
Okay. Let's talk about Look at this, this one again. already, though. Um, so this is that McCoy Floraline yellow basket piece. I had it at 16. I will do 12 on it for a uh, number 48 if you're interested. So this is a yellow basket weave McCoy pottery planter piece. Number 48 for $12. I'm gonna leave that over here. And I think those guys were recent ones. So we have this swan, but I will check Casey. Let's take a look. Carrie, I think you did win some stuff. I thought she did. Maybe not. I thought so. Doesn't look like I have you down for anything, Casey. I guess not, Carrie. Uh, let me see if you did, did we have you for an auction maybe no no okay so we have this swan bud vase again it's got beautiful floral and gold detailing and you know what who won the owl print who won the owl art i thought casey won the owl art the, was it the auction or? No, it was the live. I'm sorry, guys. Go back to the top. Oh, that was Newton's Cup. Newton's Cupper won the owl art. Yep. Okay. I thought Casey won it for some reason. I don't know what's going on. Sorry, guys. White or blue? Okay. Sorry. Swan Bud Vase. I had it at 12. I will do $10 for number 45. The Triple S, the swan is white. I understand what you're saying. It's showing up a little blue in the video. Oh, it's, sorry, guys. This is white, white with gold. It's the um, the lighting. It's white with gold, and it's got yellow and blue flowers on it with a little bit of pink. We're losing our light, guys. I'm sorry. So $10, number 45. The swan is white and gold with little blue and yellow flowers for $10, and it's number 45. All right, Triple S. Up. Sorry, Tina, Triple beat you. And just update it to the, don't worry, I'm not writing on, I'm writing on the sticker, not on the bottom of your $10. Thank you. And that one was on my Etsy, so I have to take it down. So that one did sell. What I have some right? wrapping to do tomorrow, guys. Let's see, what else do we want to take a look? Just so we had this butter warmer set again. I wish we had another light. A butter warmer set again. You put the tea light in the bottom and the butter in the top. I thought this would make a really cute air planter. I will do both of them. Number four, what was number 48? Oh, oh okay. Number four planter. And I, I said that correct blue. I looking? came down to twelve dollars on that, right, blue flamingo? I think I changed that to twelve. And I'll put it, we'll put it in her pile. Oop, I stuck it to the paper. Will do. All right, blue. This is going in your pile. All right, Lori, that one's going in your pile. Thank you. So this warmer set. I will do eight dollars and it's number thirty-three. Eight dollars, number thirty-three. For the butter warmer and tea light holder. Okay, dokers. So now we have this point set up plate again. This is a 70s piece made in 72, hand painted, lovely for Christmas time. I will do $6 on the poinsettia plate. 
And number 44. So $6, number 44 for the Christmas ceramic poinsettia plate. Just in case someone asks about it afterwards. Okay. All right. Let's go back to the feet, guys. Let's talk feet. So we have the feet salt and pepper shakers. And if you're still interested in them, I will do $6 number 52 for the feet salt and pepper shakers. Wouldn't these be fun for one of those Christmas things where like a white elephant gift where you have to gift people something weird? You know, if no one buys these, one of my coworkers may get them. These are number 52. Is that, there 52. we go. 52, okay. And what did I say? $6. Okay. $6, number 52, Carolina Princess. Beth, it's yours. Halloween, too, yeah. Oh, like sticking out of planners? That would be cool, too. Awesome, guys. I just don't want to have to put it all away. <laughs> okay, can you hand all me right. stuff? Uh, what's... Okay, can you hand me some of the older stuff from the, the back part first? Please. Here you go. Oh, you're going to use them? Are you going to use them for Halloween or a white elephant gift? Beth. All right, so let's, let's talk shakers. We have these corn shakers. They've got their wood stoppers. I think they are Japan or Portugal. They are ceramic. We'll do $6.00. And number eight, that's perfect for white elephant gift. Yeah, that's cool. Six dollars, number eight, if you're interested in the corn shakers. Okay. Okay, let's get back to the trinket dishes, guys. Can you hand me the other one, too? We'll do both of them. So first up, we had this lovely trinket dish. It's labeled Country Flowers, Royal Grafton, Fine Bone China, Made in England. I'm sorry we're losing the light, guys. It's white with pretty floral detailing and gold rim. It is $5 and number 22. Aw, $5, number 22. I have a growing salt and pepper shaker collection too but it's only gonna grow as far as my buffet allows me to have them. Okay, so that's a no on that guy. Then we have this trinket dish again, hand painted in Japan. It is white with beautiful floral detailing. It is signed. It is $6 and number 21. $6, number 21. Yeah, see, I didn't start collecting salt and pepper shakers till now. Like, I wouldn't have thought I'd collect them when I was younger. Okay. We have this rooster set again. They are Japan. They are cold painted, so the red has started to wear off a little. They do have their Japan sticker on them still. They are $8 and number 55 for the roosters. $8, number 55 for the roosters. Okay, go first. I've got to start getting some phrases together so I can make some shirts. Now, this is that we think it might be whole pottery. It's beautiful fall coloring picture, drip glaze in the brown with lovely cream detailing, USA on the bottom. This one is $15 and number 42. $15, number 42. Nice grab, Casey. Oh, awesome, Carrie. See, you did get something. That'll be real pretty for fall. So 
that needs to go up top. Up top, please. All right. I have this little girl, washer girl. She's got gold detailing and she's blue and white. Oh, bye, Michelle. Thank you for everything. I'll look for your email. I appreciate your helping out. We'll be wrapping up here in a few. We've got four items to go through. So I've got this little cute washer girl. She is white with blue and gold detailing. She is $5 and number 16. $5 number 16. Is that pretty gold? Yep, everyone, make sure you check out Michelle's sale on Instagram Tuesday at 2 Eastern time. Okay. We are back with these guys. Farmhouse style salt and pepper shaker set. Oops, I just pulled out the stopper. These are made in Taiwan. You've got your, your duck and uh, chicken set. I will go $8 on these and they are number 51. $8 number 51 for the country style salt and pepper shakers. Okay. All right, I gotta stop saying that. <laughs> I'm gonna have to get on a t-shirt or something. There you go, okie dokers. <sighs> okay, we're back to the corn people. So this is a little, it might be a butter dish, another warmer dish. It is $5 and number 34. I thought it would make a really, really cute air planter. We got a buyer for the uh, duck and roosters. Oh, number awesome. 51. And I lowered the price on those, right? Yes, to $8. $8, okay. So I just gotta make sure, cause I wanna make sure I invoice you guys correctly. That Dottie Lynn. Yep, first. Awesome. So again, guys, this was five dollars and number thirty-four. Okay, we will go back to these cute little ceramic ball cups. They have great '70s flowers. These would be really sweet for the fall to use. It's eight dollars for the set and number thirteen. Eight dollars for the set, number thirteen. They are not marked. They are light yellow ceramic, very lightweight. So nice if you don't like a heavy cup to drink out of. I see all the emails coming through, people. Thank you so much. Last but not least. All right, last we have this little guy looking for a home. He's a little Dutch boy. He is missing a little bit of his blue on the side here. His a piece of it. He is made in Japan. He is $2 and number six. $2 number six to finish up the night, guys. All right, guys, thank you so much for coming out. That was a lot of fun. We really enjoyed this first live sale. I appreciate all your help and support and monitoring and buying for me. Um, tomorrow I will begin packaging everything and responding to your email. So if you want something, make sure you email me. My email is going across the top here. You guys know you guys know the routine to include your real name, your YouTube name, your PayPal email, your shipping address, all that stuff. Um, thanks so much, guys. I hope you all have a wonderful, safe evening. I'll try to get invoices out tomorrow on Monday. And then when they're paid, I'll be shipping out within 48 hours. So take care, guys. Have a wonderful Saturday night, and I'll see you back here in a month on September 19th for my next live sale. Thanks, guys. Off Thanks so much. Champagne. Off to the champagne. See you later. Thanks, everybody.